Hi everyone, it's Kai here. Are you ready to explore? Great! Today, we're going to explore a story about a time Jesus was tempted. This is found in the book of Matthew chapter 4. Remember, great explorers are great listeners. Let's clip on our listening ears. Click! Great job! Watch your leader closely as I tell the story. I wonder what you'll discover. Here we go! Before Jesus began his ministry, the Holy Spirit led him out into the desert. Jesus spent the next 40 days and nights in the wilderness. I wonder what he did out in the desert. Jesus prayed and fasted during this time. After 40 days, the devil came to tempt Jesus. The devil wanted to see if Jesus would trust in God to take care of him or if Jesus would use his own powers to take care of himself. The devil knew that Jesus was hungry. He had not eaten for 40 days. The devil picked up some stones and showed them to Jesus. The devil said, If you are really God's son, you can do anything. Turn these stones into bread so that you can eat. Jesus was very hungry. I wonder, what would you do? Jesus was not fooled. He shook his head no. Jesus told the devil that people don't live on bread alone. We also need God's word. I wonder what that means. God's word helps us to have a strong and loving life because it helps us know how to follow God. Jesus had passed the first test. The devil grabbed Jesus and made him stand on the highest point of the temple. They were up really high and a single mistake could mean that Jesus might fall. The devil knew this but tried to trick Jesus. He told Jesus to jump off the roof. The devil told Jesus that if he was God's son, God's word promises that God will send his angels to protect him so he wouldn't get hurt. Hmm... It sounds like the devil is trying to confuse Jesus with God's word. I wonder if Jesus will believe it. Jesus didn't move. He told the devil that God's word also reminds us that we should not put God to the test. We are to trust and follow him even when things are difficult or don't make sense. Jesus' words beat the devil at his own trickery. I wonder how the devil felt when Jesus said no to this temptation. The devil then took Jesus to a high mountain. He told Jesus to look down on all that he could see. There were cities and kingdoms below. The devil told Jesus he could have all of these kingdoms to rule if he would bow down and worship him. Jesus was done with the devil's temptations. He stood up straight and loudly said, Go away, Satan. You do not own anything. Everything has been created by and for God. I will only worship and bow down to God. I will only serve him. I will never follow or listen to you. The devil had been defeated. He had no power over Jesus. He left. I wonder how Jesus felt after the devil left. Jesus was tired and hungry. Once the devil was gone, God sent angels to come and take care of Jesus. 